hello so today I want to come on here and talk about my prayer life or prayer life in general and the things that God is revealing to me right now in this season of my life and uh, one of the things that I have really been realizing and, and God has revealed to me lately is my heart when it comes to my prayer life um, so one thing that I've noticed is like when I am at a place in my life where I really want a certain thing to happen for myself or um, I'm looking for a blessing from God, something that I really, really, really want. That is the time that I find that my prayer life skyrockets. Like literally like I am praying all the time, morning, night, sometimes during the day as well. Um, I go into the season where I'm like, all right, I need to fast. Like, I'm just like trying to like give my all, give my heart, give my soul to God. And then once I get that blessing, then that's when I'm like, okay, God, thank you. Um, I may not be praying to you as much. I still love you. I still, I'm still going to be praying, but it won't be as much. I won't give myself to you as much. And one thing that I have realized about that is that is just me manipulating God or thinking that I'm manipulating God because God already knows what we're going to do before we even do it. So there's nothing that we can do to try to trick God because God already knows our heart. He already knows what we're going to do. He already knows every single one of our footsteps, every action that we're going to take. He knows this already, right? And so... I'm thinking to myself, okay, if God knows that I'm going to kind of fall away from doing prayer as much as I was as soon as I get that blessing, why does he keep blessing me? Like, God, teach me like to stop trying to manipulate you or trying to be conniving or try to get this blessing and then next thing you know, you don't hear from me for a couple of days. Like, God teach me and what he taught me is you're my child so you're going to get blessed regardless there is nothing that you can do or say to get these blessings from me like you are my child you are going to be blessed regardless I already had this in the will for you this was already in my will for you there is nothing that you did there's no prayer that you said that got me to do anything that I wasn't already planning on doing. And so what it taught me about God is he is almighty. He Anything that he wants to happen is going to happen regardless. There's nothing that we can say or do. And so when people tell us to pray and when you hear the pastor telling us to pray and you know, you hear like our family members that are, who are, are, are Christ believers uh, tell us to pray. They're telling us to pray because we need guidance from God. We need God. And that's when it really hit me. I'm like, wow, wait, hold on. Wait a second. When we always hear people say, God doesn't need us. We need God. I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, I know that. But like, it really hit me in that moment when I said, wow, no, we really need God. <laughs> like, God already has everything in the will for us. So it's like anything, any blessings that we're going to get, we're going to get it because God had it already set out for us in our life, in our, in our plans. And it's just now about us being diligent about praying to God, talking to God, asking him for guidance, making the best decisions. And one thing I can say about myself that I've learned is that once I get the blessing God always gets the glory because I have been praying and praying and praying and praying and pouring into him. And what God will do too, he said, huh, you think you're tricking me? Girl, this is about to, you're about to get a lesson out of this. So like there will be times where like I'm like praying, 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 praying for a new job, like praying for a certain situation to change. And then like, I mean, crying, asking God, like, God, don't you hear me? Why don't you hear me? Why isn't anything happening? And it's like, you need to learn to be content. You need to learn 
to come to me in prayer all the time, every single day. Don't bow down to your flesh. Don't give in to your flesh and say, oh, God knows what I, I, I need. God knows what I'm praying for. No, that's giving into your flesh. God is teaching me, and he may be teaching you also to pray to him all the time, not just when you need something. Because when you need something and you start magically picking up your prayer life, God's going to say, ah, girl, we're not on your time. We're on mine. God is, we are on God's time only. So whenever he says go, that's when it will happen. And so that's something that I just really wanted to come on here and talk about because um, I think sometimes we always misconstrue, often misconstrue like, oh, if we don't pray, we're not going to get blessed by God. No. That's not true at all. The blessings are already out for us. God has already blessed us with whatever it is that he wants to bless us with. The point of prayer is for us to come to God for guidance, to seek to seek assistance, to get that that love and that care because one thing another thing I've noticed too is like when I'm out of prayer when I'm not praying to God when I'm not connecting with God when I'm not listening to the Holy Spirit I make the worst mistakes I make the worst decisions my heart is out of line at my character just maybe be a little eh. like I may just be in a bad mood like just you know get an attitude get irritated quickly whatever the case may be like I just am not myself and it's because and that's the biggest sign that I'm always out that's when I know that I'm out of line and I haven't been connected with God and that's what is really important that we just continue to pray god gives us guidance he helps us with making the best decisions he when we're in connection with him we know what is god like and what is world like um we also are able to detect to um and and connect with him through through the bible and, and read the bible and and it's just a full fledged of connection we just want more and more and more of him when we're praying and when when we're seeking that guidance you feel so good like you feel so good because you know that you're in connection with god and you know that even when things may go wrong or even when things may got go the way you wanted them to you just feel like a sense of peace because you know that god is with you your faith is stronger when you're praying um your relationship with god is stronger you will make decisions that could actually have saved your life or it could have like been a costly if you weren't in connection with God it could have been a costly mistake there's so much benefit to praying and talking to God and seeking him and being in constant connection with him there's so much benefit we need God when we really sit down and think about that we can't even breathe without God being here with us without God giving us that breath like it's so powerful prayer is just so powerful um and i'm not saying for a second that if you don't pray about your blessings or if you don't pray or what you want that god that it's not going to change anything that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is that whatever is already written is written so whatever you're praying for if you don't get it it's because that god didn't want you to get it if you notice we pray about stuff all the time that we want and then it never happens. But that's not because prayer doesn't work. It's because God had something better for us. And that's what that's another way you know too that like um blessings don't just come from just praying. Like that's just not what 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 blessings comes from. It comes from God telling us that this or God already writing it in the plan for us. This is already designated for us. Our name is already on that blessing. And so the prayer part comes in when God, when we're seeking his face and we're in constant communication with him and we want to be closer to him and we want to seek him and feel good and, and, and live good and, and know better. 
Um, and honestly, like one thing I can say is that the more that we go strive to to connect with God and to be more Christ-like, it only works out the best for us. And so that's what I just really wanted to come on here today and talk about is that like, stop trying to manipulate God. And when I say that to you, I'm saying that to myself. Stop trying to manipulate God. Stop trying to um, pick up your prayer life or, or talk to God um, mainly when you want something to happen, mainly when um, you are looking for a blessing. Talk to God all the time because that constant communication will save your life. That constant communication will keep you connected. That constant communication, that constant communication. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to come on here and talk about today. Uh, I hope that you really enjoyed this this message and um, really helped yourself and it helped you to think about you know where you may be at right now with God and, and the heart check that you need to take on yourself. Um, just as I did and as I continue to do and as I continue to learn I just want to come on here and share with you whatever it is that God is talking to me about God whatever it is that God is teaching me at the moment that is what I'm on here to t tell and share with you so please be sure to like comment and subscribe and now it's your turn to comment down below and let me know um, something a, a valuable lesson that God has been teaching you in this season right now of your life and and how that came to fruition or how uh, you realized that that was God telling you that you needed to change something important in order to continue to connect with him on the level that you were looking to. So thank you so much. Again, like I said, I will be in the comments, um, um, responding to your comments, listening and, and, and reading your comments. And uh, so thank you so much again. Have a great day.